This last sketch of you with Sydney had me dying. I mean, you're, you're lucky enough to say you even got to kiss her. A lot of people can't even say that, girl. I know, I know. I, I felt very privileged with that mantle that, that I that I did someone who's kissed her. Um, but she was so funny, and I mean, she. I mean, I, I think I give her all the credit for being game to do it for not really, for being very clear about what her boundaries were. Not that she had that many, but she communicated those ahead of time. And, and we, she was just so easy to work with. It's so funny. Just, I mean, like so many of the choices, like where she looks down at her hair when I say that I'm into blondes, like that was all of her. That was her instincts. She has so many good, subtle, dry comedic instincts that I love. And she was so funny. Is there yeah. any celebrity you're dying to see host SNL one of these days and you get to eventually work with them? Oh my gosh, I would love, love, love if Cher was available. If Cher did something on the show, I would I would lose my mind. I will say when RuPaul came, we had one sketch together and then it got cut for time. So I'm manifesting like another RuPaul appearance if it's in the cards so that we can like kiki kaka, do whatever <laughs> we want um, a little bit more because I feel like I I had, a, I, I feel like I just, I, I didn't get enough with, 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 with Ru and I love Ru. Oh, yes. We can never get enough time with Miss RuPaul. I mean, she is seriously the best. Well, one thing I want to also ask you about, I know we keep talking about manifestations, but girl, I'm telling you right now, Fire Island is one of the best movies uh, ever. I seriously love it. It is like one of my comfort you, movies. So Bowen, where's Fire Island 2? Come on now. I, I don't know. It's up to Joel. It's up to the studios. It's up to Andrew on the director. I just saw Andrew yesterday, the guy, uh, the director. And um, we're talking about, it. I mean, like, there's a lot of ideas floating around. I don't know if it'll happen. I think Joel is more into the idea of like, writing other movies that have the same cast as Fire Island, but different stories. So kind of like keeping it in the family, but also but new stories that are also just as comforting and compelling and fun. And I mean, Joel is the best. So I, I, I think everyone, I think our paths will cross again. Okay, work. It sounds like yeah. Joel Kim Booster is kind of trying to do the American Horror Story thing. Like it's all one big universe, yes. but we are just different scenarios. <laughs> totally, absolutely. And I am the I'm I'm the Jessica Lang, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. No, that I, I'm calling myself Jessica Lang. That's crazy. But I would agree. I think you definitely are. In case you don't hear it enough, girlfriend, thank you for just everything that you're doing. You are keeping the smiles on our faces, bringing the laughs when we need it the most. So just thank you for even taking the time. I was so excited we finally got a chance to meet. Yes, me too. And thank you. I thank you again for manifesting. That's what I'm here for, girl. Anytime you need some positive manifest manifestations, you call a girl. <laughs> okay, we'll do, Ricky. Love it. Yes. Well, Bowen, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you have a crazy schedule, so hopefully we'll cross paths again sometime soon. Definitely. See you soon, Ricky.